Just going to the grocery store. It's uh, family day here in Ottawa, Canada. It's a provincial holiday and everybody gets it off. So it's really slow. I'm just getting over COVID. Been sicker than a dog for the last week. Starting to feel a little better going up to the grocery store. I'm gonna get some groceries because I'll be back to work soon. Thank God I'm getting a little bored, man. This COVID business is really dangerous, man. I felt really sick for at least three to five days. I felt really sick and getting over it is taking longer than I thought it would. I really did. I thought I'd be back to work last week, but that didn't happen. I'm going on 10, 11 days now and I'm still feeling a little down. I'm still feeling a little down. But anyways, what I want to talk about today is something that's, you know, I've really wanted to talk about often, but I really haven't because I think a lot of us have difficulties with it. And it's a very personal thing to talk about, especially people in recovery. But I think it's a big component of recovery. Almost, I like to say a must to have. And a lot of us who come into recovery nowadays have a big problem with the church. They think 12 step programs are religious and we're all a bunch of religious fanatics, but we're really, we're not. Alcoholics Anonymous or other 12 step programs I'm involved with, I don't find them very religious. I don't find them very religious. We talk about a higher power. Some people that choose to call that higher power God, which I do, I choose to call that higher power God or higher power, it's, it's okay. And the spiritual aspect of a 12 step program, the spirituality of it, you know, we're not religious, we're just spiritual, right? Spirituality for people who've already been to hell and they don't wanna go back, right? You've heard all those kind of things. A Couple of people I know in the program are atheists, they're agnostics, they don't believe in anything. They do mindfulness and I don't know how you stay sober without a higher power. You know, because in the step one, it says we are powerless over alcohol and our lives have become unmanageable. An alcoholic's life, I know for myself, there's a lot of ups and downs in recovery. There's a lot of deaths, a lot of disappointments, a lot of disagreements, a lot of things that I don't like in recovery at work, wherever it may be, people, places, and things still upset me. They really do, okay? There's no, I am not any Jesus kind of guy or walk through life just like it doesn't affect me at all. But there's one ingredient that's really saved me a lot of trouble in my, in my recovery, and that is having an outside source, having spirituality, understanding, the concept of a higher power. It's given me a source of power and the ability to be open-mindedness, the ability to keep, to be open-minded and the ability to get away from myself and just step aside and let things go. If it's resentment or troubles or fears in life, just to let things be exactly the way they are. When I, pray or have a sense of a contact with a higher power, I feel secure, I feel a sense of belonging, and I feel that things are going to work out for me. It's the exact same way I felt when I drank. I felt secure when I drank, I felt calm when I drank, I felt things were working out. That same feeling I get from a higher power, that same understanding that I get from the alcohol I get from having a higher power. And then you're gonna to say to yourself, well, Terry G, that's, that's nonsense, that's nonsense. It's not. Because for me, when I quit drinking, I was powerless over places, people, and things I was powerless over. And in early sobriety, I was always in collision with those three things. I was always, I was argumentative. I was always in trouble. I was like, like not in trouble. Like, well, I should say that I was in trouble with the law, but I was always in conflict with, with institutions or people. And, and, and I always threw my will at stuff. And I always tried to think my way out of things and do all this willpower stuff to get myself out of these ruts. And I was always wondering why I was always having difficulties when it came to living one day at a time. And a lot of it had to do with my will had to do with the way I was doing things in my life. Just because I sobered up didn't mean I was gonna have a peaceful and calm life. My life didn't really start getting peaceful and calm until I started understanding that a higher power 
was important to have. Understanding that things are meant to be exactly the way they are. And the only way I can, can come to that conclusion is having an outside source of power and practices spirituality that life is going to be okay no matter what. And to an alcoholic or somebody suffering from addiction, having an understanding like that is reassuring. It really is. That there's a bigger plan and things are, are going to work out no matter what. Having that hope, having that belief in this, in this outside source. And it's comforting. It really is. I could go on and on about spirituality or the results I get from having a higher power. And people are going to say, you know, I don't need a higher power recovery. You know, the group is my higher power. Yeah. The group can be your higher power, but that's only going to last for, for, you know, not very long. It'll last maybe a couple of years like I did. If you start getting upset to people in your group because people aren't perfect, but a God of my understanding is perfect is unconditional love towards me. And I hope I don't, you know, discourage people, you know, because it takes work. Sometimes I don't believe. Sometimes I believe. You know, it's like the scale of justice. Sometimes it's better, sometimes it's not. But I do believe in a higher power. And I think believing in God and having a spiritual component to your program can help you and benefit you immensely. It really can. And like I said at the beginning, it's a very personal thing, but it does help in the addiction life. It really does. I've read a lot about it and it does. Mindfulness all those sort of things connecting with our spirit and understanding that you know we are not our universe or you know we are very a small little spoke in the big wor in the big world out there that life just seems to get better it really does learning to let things go learning to let resentments go learning to let people be exactly the way they are keeping an open mind taking life one day at a time living in the moment takes spirituality. It takes a belief that things are going to be okay no matter what. So I just, you know, I nurture it. I practice it. I believe in it. And I know that it's a big part of my program today, having a God of my understanding and practicing spirituality. I am not a religious person. I am not. I don't condone religion. I mean, I don't Bad mouth religion, I think there's a part for it in all societies. And I think it's it's good for people. I really do. But in, in, in the terms of addiction, religion doesn't work as well. It doesn't. Like in 12-step programs, a higher power works a lot better. And I know people who believe in God, who have a higher power, who have a spiritual program, tend to be happier, less stressed out, and just have an overall better program. I really do, I really believe that, okay? So that's my spin on it, okay? A little bit of a spin. I don't know why I'm talking about spirituality, maybe because I felt so rotten the last week. But anyways, if you like what I said, subscribe to my channel. If you don't like what I say, leave it in the comment below. I'd be more than happy to respond to you. This is only my point of view of God and spirituality. I know it's a very intimate topic, but if you can do it, just try a little bit. Try a little bit of spirituality. Try it on for...